Hello and welcome again to my channel Study Buzz. Today I am going to discuss a very famous novel, Kuli, which is written by Mulkraj Anand. So let's start our discussion about the author. Mulkraj Anand was born on December 12, 1905, Peshawar. India which is now currently in Pakistan and he, he died on September 28 uh, 2004 in Pune Anand was a prominent Indian author of the novels short stories and critical essays in English he was one of the pioneers of Indo-Anglian fiction he was famous as a social realist for his depiction of the lives of the poor in traditional Indian society he is also notable for being uh, being among the first writers to incorporate Punjabi and Hindustani idioms into English. And he was one of the first in, uh, India-based writers in English to gain an international readership. He is also known as a social realist. Uh, a very interesting uh, uh, incident of his life which I want to uh, mention here is that Anand's literary career was launched by uh, a family tragedy instigated by the rigidity of the caste system. His first prose essay was a response to the suicide of an aunt who had been excommunicated by her family for sharing a meal with a Muslim woman. His first main novel Untouchable published in 1935 was written to expose of the day-to-day -day life of a member of India's untouchable caste. So we can see that Anand started his literary career as a response uh, to, show, uh, to show his concern about the poor class and the labor class and to show the to, sh to present the real condition of the poor class he won the liter in the he won the international peace prize in 1953 he award he was awarded padma bhushan in 1968 uh, he also received sahitya academy award in 1971 his notable works are untouchable uh, published in 1935 Kuli published in 1936 Two Leaves and a Bud in 1937, The Village in 1939, Across the Black Waters in 1939, The Sword and the Sickle in 1942, The Big Heart in 1945, The Lost Child in 1934, Seven Summers, A Memoir in 1951, The Life of an Indian Prince 1953, The Old Woman and the Cow in 1960 and The Road in 1961. So these are some of his notable works. Now let's discuss about the novel. The novel was published in 1936 and it was translated more than 38 languages of the world. It is one of his most famous novels. Uh, this is critically acclaimed novel that helped to establish Anand as one of the foremost Anglophile Indian writers of the day. The novel is highly critical of British rule in India and India's caste system. As we can see that the novel was published in 1936 when India was ruled by the British. Uh, in 2004, a commemorative edition including this book was launched by the then Prime Minister Manmohan Singh. Now let's have a look on summary of the novel. The novel coolly narrates the story of a 14-year-old boy Munu from the hills of Kangra, Bilaspur. Munu's parents died when he was very young. He was brought up by his uncle and aunt. However, early in the novel, they reveal that they can no longer support Munu and insist that he should earn for his survival. Munu moves from the village to the town, from the town to the city, and then up to the mountains. This journey marks the end of his childhood. Munu travels to a nearby town 
with his uncle where he finds a job as a servant to a bank clerk babu nathu ram babu nathu ram's wife bibi ji exploits munnu but he has to bear abuses and curses as he has no option he works hard in the house washing dishes bringing vegetables and cleaning them too munnu gets ill treatment from from bibi ji but he admires his master's younger brother prem chand who is a doctor sheela the teenage daughter of the master of the house that means nathu ram uh, is also kind to him babu nathuram himself is something of a caricature a typical example of a middle class anglophile who has internalized the values of the colonizer and firmly believes in the supremacy of white people one day munnu accidentally bites sheela the daughter of nathuram munnu is beaten and decides to run away In his new journey he meets Prabha Deyal a very kind person who promises him to take to Daulatpur and give him a job in his factory Munu does not know where to go and what to do he has to do something for his survival he immediately accepts the proposal Prabha and his wife are kind to Munu although the work is hard Prabha's wife soon grows fond of him and gives him motherly love Munu feels relaxed here but soon has fa- has to face another tragedy unfortunately prabha's own business partner ganpat cheats him and leaves him bankrupt prabha decides to leave the town and go to his native place once again munnu remains alone and alienated after the departure of prabha and his family from the town munnu is left alone in the world with no art or craft to earn his living munnu has to face starvation he tries to satisfy the hunger he stands as a beggar in the row in front of the temple in dolatpur munnu starts his new job as a coolie but he never gets success because of the license and the social system he faces obstacles everywhere he tries hard to settle but the system would not allow him to live to live peacefully When Munnu arrives in Bombay with the help of an elephant driver first he tries to find the earning source at first Munnu is delighted with Bombay but he soon realizes that even here coolies must sleep on the streets he finds work at sir george white's cotton mill where he meets ratan a man he comes to idolize Ratan is a wrestler and a member of the workers union a man who has chosen to fight his masters and reject the exploitative conditions in which he labors unfortunately he gets separated from him due to the strike of the factory workers while wandering the streets he is run over by mrs main warring's car as compensation she hires him as a servant and takes him to shimla He works as a servant in the house and pulls her rickshaw. Mrs. Main Warren's offers insight into another dimension of Indian society. She has English as well as Indian ancestry and longs to be accepted by English society. As a result, she traveled to England and married a young English soldier. Her desire to be recognized as English can also be read as a desire to be recognized as white. with all the privileges that accompany whiteness in colonial india privileges that munnu will never enjoy despite the kindness that mrs main warrings shows him munnu contracts tuberculosis and died and dies aged just 15 Mun uh, Kuli is a devastating account of the poverty and exploitation faced by Munnu. It highlights the struggle of survival of downtrodden of the society. Munnu has no real control over his life, over the work he does and where he lives or how he is treated. Uh, throughout the novel, Anand points to the way the lower classes are exploited by those above them with munnu being the ultimate example of this exploitation okay so now uh, let's have a look on themes this novel has multiple themes as we can see that uh, it's it shows the real condition of the society 
and it shows the condition of poor class it also shows the caste and class conflict exploitation of lower class by the upper class we can clearly see in the novel that it uh, it presents the relationship between the colonizer and colonized it also um, reflects on the issue of oppression of down trodden the lower class the poor class the labor class we can see that munu has uh, has no real control over his life because he is a poor boy poverty is uh, also a main uh, issue discussed in the novel hunger social evils this novel also talks about the social evils as uh, as such we can we can see here that poverty hunger operation of the poor classes caste and class conflict all these are social evils which anand tries to uh, represent through his novel child labor again is a very important theme in the novel so this is it for today i hope uh, this novel is clear to you thanks for watching if you like the video subscribe to my channel